Happy Thursday. <laughs> I'm Melissa Kerman here with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. If you are watching this on YouTube, you're watching the replay, of course. And I always like to say that um, if you're watching the replay, you can always jump forward to where the project demonstration starts. I always put a time of when the project demonstration st starts in the video description, both in Facebook and on YouTube. So um, definitely jump forward if you're watching the replay if you want to. Hi, Pam. Hi, Barb. Yay, you're here. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Just uh, getting started. Um, again, my name is Melissa Kerman, Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. If you want to find me online, my website is uh, www.melissascraftingtreehouse.com. I do have two websites. One is my Stampin' Up! website that I have lots of content on, and I no longer add uh, content to that anymore. It's, um, um, well, my new website is better. How about we put it that way? <laughs> We'll stay positive. So you might stumble across my old website and um, definitely noodle around on there and see what you find. But my new website is Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. So um, hopefully you'll be able to find it if you look me up. And uh, if you like to come back and visit me, bookmark me because that's an easy way to find me again. All right. Hi, people. I see you joining. Barb and who else did I miss? Kathleen and oh, darn, there was somebody else who I missed. But I can't see your comments anymore. <laughs> Welcome and thanks for chiming in and saying hello. Um, always fun to see who's out there watching and uh, I love when you say where you're from. So thank you, Barbara, for saying that. I think somebody else did earlier as well. Um, so thanks for doing that. So I uh, have a fun project demonstration today. A it should be a pretty quick one. I'm doing a rewind redo. I'm also going to announce the winners of last week's um, prizes and... Um, Let's see what else did I have. Oh, and of course, just general announcements. I don't have a lot of announcements, but I do have a few. So um, before I get into that, I did want to just um, say on a personal note that this has been kind of an amazing week in that um, I've gotten some really, really, really <laughs> super sweet emails and comments. And when I hear from you and... Um, you know, you tell me that I'm, you know, inspiring you to create and that you love that you found me and other things that sweet people have said. It's just, you know, it warms my heart. It makes me all kind of choked up and sort of makes my week and day and <laughs> and uh, makes it, you know, all the all the work that I do to um, put things on my website and, and create and share worth, worth all the efforts. So thanks to those of you out there who um, share your sweet thoughts with me and don't be shy about... Um, about uh, emailing me and contacting me and talking to me because that way I get to know you as well. So one of the things that was really um, neat this week is um, through some of these communications with people, it's like we kind of get to know each other and it's kind of strange being on the internet and of course you can see my face but I can't see yours. But we can have conversations, sometimes I'll have them on the phone with people or by email or seeing your comments here on Facebook and it's kind of like having friends all over the world and that's just an amazing, amazing thing. Uh, something I've really enjoyed uh, as a demonstrator as I've gotten more into doing this. Uh, hi, Marilyn from Illinois and um, Barb from, let's see, South Dakota. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to actually remember where people are from. Sometimes I do. Um, and Sharon from Idaho. Yes, hi, Sharon. <laughs> come visit again sometime soon. <laughs> Want to come to an event of mine. Uh, Sharon comes in and sees her sister-in-law here uh, in Charlotte, and she comes and visits me, which is so fun. Anybody's welcome to do that. Come visit my tree house. <laughs> all right. So um, anyways, gr with gratitude, thank you all for um, participating, being here, sharing your sweet thoughts and comments and emails, and uh, I appreciate you so much. Okay, so uh, on to the business, just little bits of business reminders. Um, last week I talked about some of the Occasions Catalog products that are being discontinued sort of prematurely. They've kind of run out or had technical problems with them. That includes the doily builder thinlets. Um, last week, the wonderful floral framelits, framelits um, went away. They're no longer available. The rose trellis thinlets had been on the chopping block because they were running low. They're also gone. I know, it's so sad. The one thing that's still available that was uh, low inventory in the Cajuns catalog that was at risk of going away is the detailed birthday edgelets. Those are still around, at least for the time being. But if that's something that you really like, get it now. Don't wait. 
Um, let's see what else. So some good news. Um, some of the not orderable items that I've talked about in the past, like the Bunny Builder Punch. Uh, there's an estimated availability of April 15th, which is actually not too far away. And uh, the Butterfly Duet Punch, which has been super popular. And I've just had so many people who've wanted to order and haven't been able to. That's the estimated availability for that is April 1st. Now that comes as part of a bundle with the Butterfly Gala set. I think that's what it's called. Um, that is still not available. The bundle's not available. There's no estimated date for that. But hopefully that'll come soon. So um, I'll keep you updated. All right. So um, last week I mentioned that the March-April free card kits are now uh, available when you place an order through my free card kit program. And um, I was going to show them and didn't have them, so this week I have them to show you guys. So um, the way that you get free card kits is when you place an order, um, and I actually give you one kit if you get to $25 order, two if you get to 35, and three if you get 50 or over. And for anybody who places a $150 order, you get two of each of the projects sent to you, and that includes a project video and a PDF um, and my support to the extent that you need it. <laughs> um, so that's how you get free card kits, and I do ask you to use the hostess code unless your order is 150 or more, because if it's 150 or more, I want you to get the hostess rewards, not me. So um, that's just something to keep in mind. So. You want to see the projects? Woohoo! Okay, so the first one is made with the Dear Joy Lee set. This is the one where the framelits are no longer available, sad, but the, the set itself is really, really pretty. Yay, thanks somebody for doing a heart. <laughs> Hi, Marsha. Welcome. So um, the Dear Doily set, I really love. That was the one that, I, sh I mean, I showed you some of the doily projects last week and sad that that's gone, but you can work with just the set, and um, this is my card for that is just with the set. So it's just um, stamping and then some sponging all over the place in a couple different colors. And if you look carefully, you can see that there's some Wink of Stella on there. So um, I just, I think that's just a simple, really fun little project. So um, uh, people really enjoyed it in my in-person club groups that were just here. Okay, the next one is the Painted Seasons. Uh, that This is what I've used on this next set. This is the one that's available through Celebration. You can only get it in combination with the designer paper as a level two celebration item. So you have to spend $100. You get the designer paper and that stamp set and um, for, for free with an order. Um, so this is the project that we made in Club and it has sort of a fun fold opening. I shared that in one, in my uh, another blog post, the Color Fusers blog hop, just the um, sort of engineering of how to put that together. It's uh, you know ever, a little ever so slightly challenging, but it's very doable and I did a little um, mini tutorial on that as well that I shared in my newsletter. And then I did a second variation, so just mixed up the images a little bit and used some different colors. So just th that's that. Um, and then the last one uses the Winter Wood set. I've also used, used an image from, what is it called? Country Road, I think it's called. It has, has a, this for the sentiment. I don't have that right here to show you, but this is an awesome set. It's just so versatile, and I've made lots of things with it. You guys probably have seen them on my website, but this is the club project. It doesn't have a single dimensional on it, but isn't it so pretty? Just It's like framed art, in my opinion. <laughs> now, you know, patting myself on the back a little. <laughs> anyway, I love this card, and you can see the little filaments of silver um, there, and then we did a bunch of stamping, and... Um, and sponging. So that's those are the three club projects and the club the projects that you can get as free card kits when you place orders through my online store using the hostess code or not using it if it's 150 or more. <laughs> Hopefully that's clear. Hi Jennifer, welcome. Hi Kathy. <laughs> um, so fun to see people joining in. I know I'm missing some of you guys, so I'm I will watch, read the comments later um, and make sure to catch up with all of you. I hate to miss miss people. <laughs> All right, so those are the projects for free card kits. Okay, a couple other quick updates. Um, the celebration celebration coordination ends in ten days. There are only four products left through that promotion. Several of the framelits that coordinated with celebration items have been discontinued because they've been so popular and have run out, including the cupcakes and the frog framelits. Um, the one framelits that are still available are these, uh, the framelits that coordinate with these, so that's really nice if you get the Painted season set. Um, and uh, there's more details on my website. Whenever I post on my blog, I always have a section, um, what do I call it, more 
more going on. <laughs> and in that section are links to the kinds of information about promotions and things that are going on that I don't mention in my blog posts all the time, but they're there so you can find that information. All right, and of course, celebration ends in 10 days also, so it's almost, um, you know, no more can we get free items with our purchases, which is so sad because I love this time of year. But anyway, so it's 10 more days you have to get free items with your purchases. Hi, Kathy. I'm sorry, Carrie. <laughs> I'm reading that wrong. Hi, Carrie. I saw that and then I said the wrong name. Um, so, okay, so take advantage of celebration. The one last thing I wanted to talk about as far as um, things that are going on is the starter kit. So during celebration, it's absolutely the best time to join. Um, because the starter kit is in, is phenomenal. So you spend $99 and get uh, $175 in product, so $76 in free product that you get to pick. And um, and then you get all the benefits of being part of Stampin' Up! and part of my, my team, my little Chicks and Treehouse team, and the Love to Stamp group, which is a larger group, and then, of course, the Stampin' Up! as a whole. So um, it's an amazing community to be a part of. So much creativity flowing around. It's just like contagious. <laughs> Crazy stuff. So if you are interested and want any more information about joining, I'd be happy to talk to you. Um, in an email I got today, someone said that they were, uh, what did she say? I'm too old to become a demonstrator. And I can't remember what the other thing was. And I said, nobody's too old to get a discount. Really? <laughs> it's, you know, a lot of people just join for the discount and keep it going because, um, because they love it and want to do it more and more like me. So, um, it's really available to anybody. So the other option, when you buy the starter kit, there's really two options. So $99, 175 in product, or 129 and you can get this craft and carry tote, which I remembered to put here. Awesome travel bag for all your stamping supplies when you're taking your stamping on the go. Um, and you still get 175 in product, and you're just spending 29 to get the craft and carry tote, and you can't get it any other way, only when you join. So. That's a little bit of my spiel about joining. It's, um, I feel remiss when I don't mention it because anybody that spends $99, you could spend 99 and get 175 now, so that's pretty darn cool. And then when it's not celebration, it's still a great deal because you get um, $125 uh, in product for 99. So anyway, this is not the only time to join. It's just the best time to join. All right, um, so, and lots of benefits for me and Wells as well. Um, as from Stampin' Up. All right, so giveaways. Um, uh, today, um, what I'm gonna draw for is for the card that I'm making. Hi, Laura Lee, welcome. Yay, so happy to see you here. <laughs> you found me. <laughs> um, and uh, okay, so we're gonna draw for what I'm gonna make. So you uh, basically, any comments, I'm gonna draw from people who comment. So I found this software online where um, it will, um, it will basically count everybody who makes a comment, whether you use a hashtag or not. Um, you, can, you can use a hashtag and use that as well, but anybody who makes a content, it'll do a random drawing of anybody who comments. So if you comment five times, you're gonna get entered five times to win. So um, that's pretty cool. So uh, it's a little giveaway, but it's kind of fun. Hopefully you'll stick around and see the project and you will want this little card and I would just stick it in the mail to you. Um, okay, so, uh, and then also, um, I'm gonna invite you to share. So uh, sharing just spreads the word, gets me a bigger audience, helps me build my business, helps me keep doing this <laughs> so I can keep coming on and you know and, and sharing materials and projects and ideas with you. So please share and those will count towards entries as well because I can do that um, with this little software gadget also. Um, and that this I will ask for a hashtag on. So um, if you do share, please comment and say shared and then say, you know, in my timeline or on such and such group or anywhere that you shared. Um, it's just kind of interesting for me to know where you shared and you'll get entered each time you do that. Uh, so, okay. All right, so winners from last week. You guys ready? I hope some of you are out there. Let's see, do I recognize any of the names that are, I think I see two people that one who are out there. Oh, so who could it be? <laughs> Okay, so um, from last week, so I had a bunch of giveaways because it was my 16 year anniversary. And um, so I was giving, I gave away one of my February tutorial bundles. So that's actually eight tutorials featuring the um, All My Love Suite. And the winner of that, you ready for a drum roll? I'm doing it for myself. <laughs> 
is Linda Miller Perla. And I don't think I saw her name, but she's a regular watcher, so hopefully she'll tune in and she'll see this. Um, and I will reach out to her through Messenger. So anytime you win, I'm gonna try to reach out to you through Messenger. If you don't do Messenger, I'm not gonna have a way to find you. So, um, uh, you know, anyway, just, you know, keep that in mind. If you wanna win, if you win, you need to be able to reachable, be reachable. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, and the next winner of the March tutorial bundle is Kathy Ort or or Ortle? Ortle? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I probably am not. Oh, there you are, and you're right there. And you just said congratulations to Linda. Well, guess what, Kathy? You won. <laughs> so I'm gonna, since you're here, and I know you're here, comment, message me um, with your email address because this is a PDF, so I will email it to you. Um, so yay, Kathy. And then uh, we had an embossing folder. Somebody won an embossing folder as well. The embossing folder was the petal, um, I think it was called Petal Burst, and I don't have them right here in front of me. I, I should have them. Just one second. I have to be able to show what people won. So, um, okay, so this is the embossing folder. So the embossing folder was uh, won by Cheryl. And um, Cheryl was actually here last week. She actually won last week. And I'm telling you, this is random. So um, there are a few people who've won more than once recently, which is kind of funny. But anyway, so Cheryl, you won this embossing folder. And let's see, who else? Okay, the embellishment pack. That was, I think that was this one. Okay, the embellishment pack was won by Rebecca May. I don't know if I've seen Rebecca's. Oh, yay, Linda's here. She, she won. <laughs> I'm so glad. Okay, so just, um, again, uh, that is, that is uh, also, okay, wait a minute. Yes, so I'm emailing you. So message me with your email address so I can send that to you. Okay, so the winner of this is Rebecca May. And um, there's two other things that got won. And the stamp set, which is the Christmas set. This was this one. <laughs> And somebody who is on here won this, and she's already won before. She won last week. I don't know how that happens. Anyway, Carol, Carol, you won. <laughs> Carol S Salava, I think I'm saying it right. So you won the stamp set. And then I think last but not least was the set of four cards that I made last week. And the winner of this is on here too because I saw her going by. Is the suspense killing you? <laughs> anyway, um, so the winner of this set of cards is... Kathleen Sorensen. Yay, Kathy! I mean, Kathleen. <laughs> so excited. Okay, so um, congratulations to those of you guys who won. If you're on here, definitely message me. If, you, if I don't have your address, um, or you, you know, you're not sure if I have your address, uh, message me with your address. Um, and I'll make sure to get those out to you this, um, uh, well, it'll probably be early next week, since today's Thursday. So congratulations to everybody. Yay, people! <laughs> um, Okay, so um, where are we now? Almost ready for the demonstration, you guys ready? <laughs> okay, um, oh yeah, and I, I do wanna say, if you're watching uh, on uh, YouTube and you leave a comment to win, you, you actually need to leave a comment on the Facebook event because it's, I've found that it's harder to find people on YouTube than on Facebook, so that's just my little reminder if you're watching on the replay. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, so that's right. Okay, so if you share, hashtag shared, I'll count it if you just say shared too, because um, I don't think I said that earlier. I think some people I think already wrote shared. Um, let me see, let me see. Uh, oh yeah, so um, on to the project demonstration. Are we ready, are we ready? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the camera down and um, I want to tell you too, like last week, the lighting was a little bit off, like it seemed kind of dark and I didn't notice it until after I was watching the replay. So if it ever seems dark or like there's a glary, annoying thing, comment and to the extent that I am able to read the comment or see it, I will try to fix it while we're on the, um, while we're live. So, um, okay, so I'm going to turn and this is always a challenge to be graceful, but I'll do my best. Okay. I'm gonna face the other way. There we go. Okay, so you see, I'm using the Beach Happy set there for, for my project. I'm not gonna show you the final result, but I am gonna show you the Rewind project. 
Um, yay. Congratulations, Kathleen. <laughs> okay, so, um, 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 yeah, okay, so here we're starting with a Christmas card. This is actually something I made long ago. It was, I love this delicate image and um, just a super simple card. And the redo is so completely different. I actually got, was, I'm really excited about it um, because it's so different. So you can sort of appreciate how you can take a, a, a design and modify it to meet um, you know, what you're, what you're working with. So when I was trying to figure out how to redo this, I mean, actually three, the only color that's still available is the red. And so obviously I'm, I'm not going to stick to necessarily the same color scheme, but I thought I would try to do a focal piece that was similar. And I played around with my markers and, um, yes, first frost. <laughs> Very good. Um, and I was trying to get some orange and yellow in there, and I was kind of just not that impressed with how that was turning out. Anyway, that's, yeah, that's this set. So I kind of abandoned using this set. So sorry for those of you who like it. It just didn't move me to, to make the rest of the card. It had to have a little bit more whatever. And I, and I just loved that one, and somehow that one popped and the other one didn't to me. So I had this set, the Beach Happy set. Oh, well, maybe I can play around with that one. And it did present a few challenges for me because, of course, the images are bigger. Um, but I love what I came up with, so hopefully you will too. So here's what we're going to start with. Um, I've got my focal piece right here. And I got a little something on there. And it's actually uh, sort of cut off at the corner by accident, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to actually be ripping that. So let's see, am I in the field of view well enough? Just realizing I'm a little bit low. Okay. That's okay, I guess. Okay, you guys let me know if it's not okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with this image right here with a little uh, beach chair and umbrella. I think it's so cute. I'm using the Memento black ink. And I always like to use the Memento uh, with my photopolymer stamps because it won't stain them, whereas the stays on black will. So uh, the Memento is also good when you're using your um, blends alcohol markers. So, um, and actually, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully I'm going to get my spacing okay on this one. Um, stamp that. And then I'm going to sort of color it in. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do my, um, my palm tree next. So I'm using crumb cake for this next part. And I've taken my photopolymer stamp and I've bent it. So when, when you get it, you see in the set it's straight. But you can shape it. And that's one of the nice benefits of photopolymer stamps. So I'm just going to ink that baby up. And... I'm going to stamp it slightly above, and I just got to make sure I'm going to have room for my palm part, the top of the palm tree, which is what's coming next. Okay, so now I'm using two greens. I'm going to use my Lemon Lime Twist, which is one of the colors that's retiring. It's one of the, um, what is it, the retiring 2017-19 colors. Definitely one of the ones I'm going to be the most sad to see go. Um, so I got to use it as much as I possibly can. And it's, I love this color palette. I'm just telling you, you guys are going to love it, I think. Because um, it's super bright and cheerful. And Lemon Lime Twist helps with that. Okay, so here's the top of my palm. And then I'm going to do rock and roll. You guys know rock and roll. I kind of use it all the time. I'm basically just taking the edge of my stamp and putting it against the... Um, the edge of the ink so that I'm getting some of the, the darker color. This is Mossy Meadow on the edges. So you'll end up with a little bit of a line of ink. So to kind of help those blend a little bit, I use a little spritz of water. And I'm going to do that off camera so I don't spray my work area. And hopefully that's going to help it just a bit. I don't want too much water because then it'll get like super watery and blendy and that's not really the look I'm going for. So let's see how I do with that. Oh, I think I used a bunch of water. Oh, that actually looks really pretty. A little bit high. 
it's like floating above the trunk, but you know, it's okay. It's all good, right? Okay, next, I'm going to color in, figuratively, of course, I'm going to color in my, um, what is that called? Umbrella. You know, when people are here with me, I've probably said this before, they help me find my words. <laughs> You know, there's a delay on Facebook, so it might be hard for you to help me find my words. But um, I use my, my community helps me. <laughs> um, yes, rock and roll technique. I love, I love it. And check that out. It blended so well. I just love the way that comes out and it just looks more natural. So I've inked up my umbrella in the pineapple punch. That's one of the 1820-2018-20 um, uh, in colors super bright lemony yellow. Great for a summery beach scene or flowers. And there it is. I, I figuratively colored it in and I love that. So that's of course two-step stamping. I'm sure that lots of you know what that is when you use two images, one overlaid over another, or laid over another, or overlaid over another. <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, to create your image. And in this case, it's like coloring in. So now I'm using um, the it's sort of the fabric of the beach chair. So incidentally, you know, sometimes when you use an ink pad, I don't know if you know this, the inside you might be able to tell looks a little bit lighter than the outside. And that's because when you typically ink up a stamp, you're going into the center. But that means is that the center tends to be a little bit sort of drier and less inky. So sometimes I find that I'll go to the outside edges of the ink pad and it's still a little bit more juicy and I can see that on this one. So that's what I'm doing. Make sure that I get a nice inking. So now when I'm stamping this image, um, you can see some of the, the uh, little, I don't even know how to describe it, the little elements on the far left line up with these elements that are sort of the, the rounded part of the um, beach chair. And the first time I did this, I didn't get it right. So uh, that's what I learned, was that you want those two far left elements to fall in, in those little spaces right there. So if any of you guys have that stamp set or get it, um, it's a good little helpful tip. All right, so we've got a colored chair now. Yay. Do we, are we ready for summer? Any of you guys who are, who are in cold, Wintry places, are you ready for going to the beach? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, you can comment and let me know. Anybody? <laughs> All right, so next, here's what I'm gonna do. And I need to grab my piece that's gonna go under it because that's gonna help me gauge my spacing. And I'm going to tear. And I might actually have to trim off the top a little bit. I think I do. Be right back. Just one second. It might have actually been better if I had done my uh, tearing on the front end, so I would know what my how much space I had to work with. So I'm going to tear off the bottom, and uh, I just have to make sure I'm not ripping the images. So when you tear, when I tear, um, I use the, my fingertips to control the tear. And when I'm pulling towards me, what's left behind is the inside fibers of the paper. And I think that's what looks the most pretty is those inside fibers where you can sort of see the edge a little bit better. On the back side, you can see it's just sort of flat and kind of not as sort of as interesting in my opinion. So let's see if I did that okay. Yay, okay, I managed to fit that in. It's pretty tight, but I fit it in, so yay. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of sponging. One of my favorite things to do. I'm using crumb cake to give it that sort of beachy, sandy look. I sponge the bottom. Sand in our toes. Isn't that fun? I've got the sides just a little bit. All right, and then it's just a matter of attaching pieces for the most part. 
And of course, I'm keeping you on suspense what the end card looks like, but I'm sure you can already tell that this one, the focal piece is quite a bit smaller and it's also oriented landscape instead of portrait. So my new one is oriented portrait. And I think that's one of the cool things about when you're remaking a card, you don't have to stick with the same orientation. And I think that's really um, kind of fun, fun to play with. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I've got my pineapple punch um, backing piece and I've just done this to save time. I have adhesive already on the back. I've used one of my little plasticized sheets. I think I shared that last week. These come with your um, foam adhesive strips and so you can have something adhesive on it and it just, it doesn't stick to it. Uh, so it gives you a little bit something to put down, your piece down on if you're doing something like I'm doing here or if you put adhesive on something and you realize that you did it prematurely and you need to stamp something or do something else on your focal piece. So it's kind of a handy little trick. All right, so here's my card body. So you can see I'm starting building it. Uh, <laughs> yes, you're liking the beach scene. Yes, cold, long cold winter. It hasn't actually been that cold here in the uh, southeast, but um, we could use a little bit more. Not that I'm complaining, but it doesn't kill the bugs if we um, if we don't get it too cold. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I know I, this had a little bit of the mossy meadow on it, but I'm, I'm just gonna go with it because I'm stamping some on the edges of the card just to give it um, some interest on the edge. You can see that was darker. I think on my original one, I actually stamped off on those images. So we'll, we'll see how it looks different. I'm sure it'll be fun. Okay, so I'm doing, gonna go with what I've done doing full inking instead of second. Yeah, gotta do it. Okay, so that's gonna kinda be my framing for my focal piece. All right, I think I'm done with my green. And now I'm gonna take a piece of my um, crumb cake ribbon, so like on the original, right, I'm trying to get this same element of some kind of ribbon or strip coming down the front. Um, and in this case, I'm gonna do it differently. And I'm gonna use glue dots, because of course I'm, I'm doing my, okay, my different orientation. So I'm gonna put glue dots on the ends. I've got it looped through the, through the inside, of course. So this is gonna be covered with the focal piece and see if I got that right. Just tacking it down. Okay, you see where I'm going? And then this already has adhesive on the back, like I said. This is gonna go right here on the front and I'm gonna justify it up a little bit slightly so I can leave room for what I'm gonna do on the bottom. And I think I'm just gonna uh, sort of rest it there for a minute while I do this last little element to make sure I like where I have it positioned. So I'm using some of, two of these little ribbons. This little, uh, this is Pineapple Punch Grosgrain and just a simple white uh, sheer ribbon or whatever that's called, I'm not sure. Um, gonna weave it through there tie a little knot and then trim it off. I think the position is probably just fine so I'm going to press it down. Summertime is coming. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I think that needs to be a little shorter. So this is kind of just this sweet little tiny added element on the bottom. I like it to be kind of short. And there's my card. Yay. All done. Wasn't that easy? And so pretty and so summery. Okay, so I'm going to show you the original one because on the original one I did those images in the background stamped off. So you can see this one. You see the um, palm tree images in the lower left and upper right. I'm sorry, I got that backwards. Lower right and upper left. <laughs> and here it's just more subtle. But there's my finished card. What do you think? You guys like it? 
first thing I've created with this set. So much fun. Had so much fun with it. And what a great summery color scheme. I just love it. Can't wait to make some more things with this. All right. So that's what I got for you today. Just a couple of reminders. Turn, turn the camera around just a sec. And now you're seeing the ceiling. Isn't that lovely? Oh my. Okay, which way am I facing? Oh, that was my hand. Hello. <laughs> it's like, what am I seeing there? Which way is the camera facing? <laughs> Sometimes I crack myself up. But that's a good thing, right? Okay, so just a couple little reminders. Keep the starter kit in mind. If, it's, if you have any remote interest in it, it's a great way to start try it out and get a great deal at the same time. And let me know if you have questions. I'm here to help. And comment and share and... Um, I will draw a winner um, for the card, to mail the card to somebody um, from among those that share and comment. So um, I guess that's kind of it. Does anybody have any anything? <laughs> Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. So uh, thanks for joining me today. It's awesome. And I'll look forward to hopefully seeing you next week at 7 p.m. And um, if you're watching on the replay, feel free to comment and participate in the drawing as well and share. And, um, and thanks again. Happy crafting. Bye.